welcome to Sweden. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Stockholm. This is my first time in Sweden and I just arrived into the city. I'm only here for 24 hours and I'm really excited to go explore the city. I'm staying in Old Town, which has cobblestone streets and some amazing architecture. So I'm going to take you guys to see as many of the unique sights and bites that I can find in the city. Let's go. Stockholm is situated on a series of 14 islands and where I'm staying in Old Town is home to the National Palace. Behind me you can see the National Museum. Lots of tourists hop on these sightseeing boats but I'm going to explore on foot. Old Town, which is where I've been kind of walking around for the last little bit, is on the island of Gamlestan, which is pretty central. Um, it's a little bit south of just the main city of Stockholm. And there's all these cobblestone streets. This is also where the Royal Palace is and a lot of the other historical buildings. This is Martin Trotzig's Grand. It's the narrowest street in Stockholm at just two feet wide. So I've learned a few things while walking around the old town of Stockholm. First of all, Swedish licorice is really good. <laughs> Second of all, um, pretty much everyone speaks English here. About nine out of 10 people that you run into are gonna speak English, especially in the tourist areas like Old Town, where there's a lot of souvenir shops and a lot of American tourists. Um, Pippi Longstocking is apparently Swedish, which I did not know, so that's something that I just learned. Also, moose are really popular, and so are oranges. Something I've been excited to try here in Sweden is Swedish candy, and there's a chocolate shop right over here. There's so many guys. Okay guys, the moment of truth here. So in the candy store, I got obviously a couple Swedish candy bars here. Um, in Norway, I fell in love with the chocolate, so this is going to be a test to see which one's better. Also, I got this one with lingonberries. Uh, lingonberries grow all over Scandinavia. They're like in jams. People cook with them. So I decided I had to get those. Also, as far as candy goes. I got a lot of things. Mainly a lot of black licorice. I'm like the only person on the planet that likes it, apparently outside of everyone in Sweden, apparently. Yum. And if you're wondering where chocolate covered gummy bears came from, probably here. <laughs> Stockholm is an absolutely beautiful city and I'm having a ton of fun walking around and exploring Summer Malm and what we already explored in Old Town. Right now I'm actually standing outside of the National Library because there's something pretty creepy inside called the Codex Gigantis or the Devil's Bible. We're going to go take a look. Coming down to the second floor of the National Library, there is a room that kind of looks like a tomb. When you enter, the door closes and seals behind you, and inside here is the Codex Gigas, or the Devil's Bible. It's much bigger than I expected, but Codex Gigas actually translate to giant book, so the name definitely makes sense. So according to legend, a single monk wrote this in a single night to rid himself from guilt, but he couldn't accomplish it, so he turned to the devil to help him out, and in exchange, the devil wanted a full-page photo drawing of himself, and so that's what people believe. But scientists and researchers have decided that it probably took him more than five years to write this giant codex. That devil's Bible was pretty cool. And right now I actually walked another about 15 minutes down the road here and we're at another library. I know what you guys are thinking, gosh, there's so many libraries on this video, but this library is really cool. It's actually got a 360 degree rotunda. It's one of the coolest buildings in Stockholm. It's a library, so we obviously can't talk in there, but let's go inside and check it out.
Stockholm also has one of the world's largest metro art galleries and all you have to do to see it is hop on the metro. Stockholm's metro opened in 1950 and since then people have been turning the underground stations into works of art. There's more than a hundred stations and I'm going to take you to a couple of the favorites. There are fantastic passes you can buy for 24 or 72 hours if you go to the ticket window. Right now I'm at Solna Centrum, which has like a forest theme. There's moose and little Swedish houses, but it's also best known for its depiction of the gates of hell. Tonight we're going to be going to a Scandinavian Viking restaurant because Sweden has a ton of Viking history, so let's check it out. I get a Viking from Los Angeles. But apparently today's that day. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please make Alice here feel especially welcome and put your hands together. Actually, you know what? Put your feet on the floor for her. Make some noise. Give me some stamping. And one more time, on the count of three, give me a cheers, ladies and gentlemen. Skål. One, two, three. Oh, you're too heavy. Oh. Score! Ah, oh. oh, you guys are awesome. Guys, I'm just finishing up my dinner and I'm sorry that I haven't brought you along for the ride. It's super loud and hurt. I didn't want to weird the people out I was eating with, but I'm just enjoying some honey made, which instead of grapes, I use honey here to make wine and beer. So it's super delicious and this has been a super fun experience. I am going to finish up and then head out for some dessert on the streets. What a day, you guys. As you can see, I'm back in my hotel. What an adventure we've had, 24 hours in Stockholm. We saw a lot. We saw some bizarre things. We saw some really interesting things. We ate really well, and I did not find any dessert. I mean, I already had dessert today. You guys saw me at the candy store, and I ate all of that licorice. So I don't know that I really needed any more sugar today. But I also had that honey mead wine, which is really sweet. Um, if you do like sweet drinks, mead wine is delicious. I don't know if you heard me in the restaurant, but it is made from honey instead of grapes like we have in the US. Uh, but it's just been such a fun day and I hope you guys enjoyed following me along through Stockholm. If only I had more time, I would show you guys more things. So I will definitely be back. And I'm actually gonna be visiting my cousins who live in Sweden after this. Um, I probably won't do a video on that, just gonna have some family time which is pretty rare for me. <laughs> but um, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with all of my travels. And subscribing helps me in making more videos as well. So I'd really like you guys to become part of my family here on YouTube and hit that subscribe button to do that. I'll see you guys on another adventure around the world pretty soon. As always, I'm Alice Ford. Never stop exploring.